Welcome back to Algo Trading Series using PineScript and TradingView from Market Secrets. In this episode, we are going to learn about a powerful reverse or all pullback strategy using RSI. Before we get into today's session, Market Secrets is proud to announce the launch of Algo Traders program ATP, where we will train people to create and deploy Algo Trading bots with end-to-end -end setup. If you are someone who wants to take up algo trading, it will be perfect place for you to start. I leave the link to the details of the ATP program in the description section of this video. And with that note, let's jump into today's session. Like I have mentioned multiple times, simple strategies can be as powerful as complex strategies. In this episode, we are going to learn about one of my favorite strategies created using RSI. RSI is known as the number one technical indicator as it is used by wide range of traders in too many strategies. So this pullback strategy or this RSI based pullback technique will use RSI signal confirmation for oversold and overbought levels before initiating a signal. It's like we are going to use RSI itself to find the pullback. So the trading conditions of simple RSI pullback strategy would be for long side okay a long signal that is a buy signal will be generated whenever rsi surpasses the oversold levels and shapes a comeback to it without surpassing the threshold level for example if you consider rsi oversold level as 20 and rsi threshold level as 35 if the rsi surpasses 20 but does not surpass the 35 and then slightly dips between 20 and 35 then that's a clear buy signal likewise a short signal is generated whenever rsi breaks the overbought level and shapes a comeback to it without breaking the threshold level so for example if rsi breaks 80 but it does not break 65 but then it shapes a comeback between this 80 and 65 then it's a short signal so with that introduction let's jump into coding Coding this strategy in trading view is a straightforward and simple approach. So let's begin. I'm going to create version first. So we're going to use version 5. And this is going to be an indicator. RSI double pullback. And this is going to be an overlay. So first thing is uh, we need the look back period for RSI. So I'm going to get it as an input. And title would be look back. Now like I mentioned, we need to, you know, uh, give the threshold and the barrier. First one, uh, we'll give the barrier. That is the max limit or the oversold and, uh, you know, overbought limits. Okay. For this also, I'm using input. And default value I'm giving is at 20. Title. Yes low barrier likewise i am you know creating low threshold as well threshold as well and default value for this will be 35 so two lines will be drawn okay so this is low threshold and likewise i'm going to create two more for high so this is high barrier and high barrier would be 80 and this is going to be high threshold which is at 65 so we are just uh, you know uh, creating four different uh, you know values and it's not a big deal you can you know directly plot it but uh, you know just for uh, the standardization I'm actually using it now we are going to get the RSI value. Okay, so RSI equal to a dot RSI of closing price, and you need to give look back. So how much period uh, 
RSA you need okay so there is a red sign here uh, looks like instead of equal to I gave a minus symbol just changed it so now let's uh, see the buy signal okay so we are going to get the buy signal if RSI is greater than low barrier so RSI breached the low barrier okay we are going to buy if RSI breached the low barrier and RSI is less than RSI 1 so it actually dipped so if it actually dipped a bit then that is one of the conditions and RSI of 1 is greater than low barrier and RSI of 1 is less than lower threshold and RSI of 2 that is 2 candle back is lesser than low barrier so what it indicates that I will get a buy signal if RSI is currently below above the low barrier okay above the low barrier that is above 20 and if RSI is below 35 that is below the threshold okay so there are five conditions here first one RSI should be greater than 20 and RSI at this point should be bit less than the previous candle that's number two and RSI of the previous candle should be greater than 20 and the fourth condition is RSI of the previous candle should be less than 35 and RSI two candles back should be less than 20 so if the RSI had dipped and if it has shot up and then if dipped again and this dipping shot up and the pullback if it happens within the range of 20 to 35 so if so if the RSI had dipped below 20 and it shot up but not crossed 35 but it is dipping again in that case we are going to get a buy signal so let me plot this now plot of buy signal and I am saving it and I am adding it to the chart ok uh, this is not a continuous signal right so it's just uh, you know if there is uh, such an indication we will get an uh, uh, you know uh, value as true so we cannot just continuously plot it over the chart so you need to use plot shape function that's what this error message is telling so instead of uh, you know plotting it as a graph I am plotting it as a shape and you need to give the shape so that is uh, you need to use a style function and shape dot triangular so this is what we generally use for buy signals so i'm using it and adding it to the chart now it's still working on it and it's done so you should spot a you know upper triangle if you have a such a signal so let me go into the other time frames to see you know whether we are able to see that in any other time frames maybe 5 minute chart yeah I am seeing one triangle here so how do we confirm this whether it is happening the right way for that we need to add a RSA indicator and uh, even for that RSA right um, we have to give a look back period as 7 ok this is by default 14 so 7 period so here we are seeing upper band middle band and lower band so i'm going to you know uh, adjust this based on our need okay so our uh, you know barrier was 20 i'm using it and um, you know just don't um, you know consider this too much just for our understanding i'm changing the middle band to 35 so that for our ease of understanding and upper band to 80 so we don't have any line for 65 but that is okay because we are only spotting the long side trade okay so 20 and 35 is the our critical line and i'm going to use red uh, sorry red for this middle band and green for this uh, you know, lower band okay so just for our ease of use so now if you look at uh, this particular chart right so 
we are seeing an uptick here that is a uh, up triangle here which indicates that uh, it's a long signal so for that long signal to happen what should have happened is uh, two candles back there should be a breach of the low barrier which is 20 so at this candle rsi should have breached below 20 which had happened now that is first condition likewise in, uh, one candle behind this okay one candle behind this entry candle uh, rsi should be less than threshold which is 35 so uh, this candle what is the rsi it is around uh, 22 so the second condition is satisfied and also in the same candle it should be above the barrier which is 20 so at this candle it should be below 35 and above 20 uh, the actual value is um, 26 so this third condition is also satisfied and now fourth condition rsi should be less than rsi of 1 so it uh, at the current candle rsi should have dipped so if you look at here it has dropped from this 25 26 range to around 22 range so that dip was has also happened so this condition is also satisfied and now the last condition rsi should be greater than low barrier so the current rsi should be greater than 20 which is your low barrier which is also true currently it's 22 if all these conditions are satisfied you will get a long signal so that is exactly what has happened here so there is a double dip in rsi at the second dip we'll get a buy signal and we'll go along that is the core of this particular strategy the reverse is true for the short side there is the uh, you know uh, shoot up in the rsi and if it crosses 80 and then it comes back but uh, you know it doesn't breach 65 but again started moving up then that pullback can be considered as an entry so that is how this should be used so you can write the sell side signal yourself and put it in the comment section i'll review it if you need and with that we have come to end of today's episode if you have any queries comments or feedback about this episode leave it down in the comment section i'll be happy to address it also hit the like button if you like this video and share it with your friends if you find it useful also subscribe to our youtube channel and click the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video or conduct a live session thanks for watching have a great day goodbye